What is the shittiest way you've been woken up? Stepdad said, time to get ready for school. By the way, your dog's dead. Then walked away. Well that's pretty shitty. Cops beating on my door to search my house for someone I was hiding. I literally didn't even know the person. This same shit happened to me. Apparently my roommate drove their car into the residential pond while drunk, and one of the idiots in the car was hiding in my closet? Cops busted down my door to take me to jail for having meth. Except I didn't have meth. They had the wrong house. Did you get arrested anyways? IDK if that is a dumb question or not. My cat throwing up. Nothing wakes you up faster than hearing the HWOPHWOPHWOP 6 inches from your face. I'm not sure how you managed to combine letters in such a way as to accurately describe the sound of a cat's vomit but you did it. I applaud you. Punched in the head by my now ex-wife. She dreamt I cheated on her. She acknowledged it was a dream, was still pissed at me for it three days later. Where do you all find these people? I never hear about anyone like this around me, other than Reddit. Neighbor decided to hang shelves in her bathroom after midnight and drilled into our shared wall. Scared the crap out of me. I read that at first as, neighbor decided to hang themselves, and thought, oh, this is taking a dark turn. This is the captain. A second aircraft has crashed into the World Trade Center towers. The country is under attack. Sound general quarters. Put the TV on. The first words I heard when I was awakened by a phone call from a friend sometime around 6 a.m. on 9-11, XNYER living in LA. I had a dream where I heard a high-pitched whine. In my dream I thought it was something electronic. It got worse and I couldn't find the source. It started stressing me out and it woke me up. Turns out it was real, and it was inside my head. I developed tinnitus in middle of the night. Had it ever since. I'm only 40. I can't stress this enough, you do not want tinnitus. Protect your ears. Use earplugs when you mow the lawn, use power tools, vacuum, and go to concerts. Don't blast your music. You'll regret it for the rest of your days if you do. My next door neighbor's house exploding in a fireball. By raw sewage pouring through my ceiling, in my bedroom, from my upstairs neighbor. He partied and ripped the toilet out of the floor, then continued using it. Took maintenance almost 16 hours to show up and turn off the flow. Did he pay for the damages? Neighbor shot through my bedroom wall because she was playing with her new gun. Edit. Damn y'all. This isn't a city versus rural thing. She was a country girl. Mainly though she was a nut that should have never been given a gun by her idiot boyfriend. Rural people don't understand why city people are so anti-gun. This. This is why. Was sleeping over at a friend's. He just got a new fancy couch with LED lights and built-in speakers. I thought the speakers only worked with an aux cord but when I was woken up by a loud as fuck distorted Russian anthem, I learned they also connected via Bluetooth. Funny, but in perspective I'd probably shit myself. There was a summer where I was taking care of a friend of a friend's rat. I loved that rat, and he got me through the first summer that I was spending on my own, but one time, this little fucker bit me in the eyelid at 3 a.m. and walked away. I love you, piff, but what the fuck? He needed a midnight snack. A fucking kidney stone. To my cat shitting on my bed. Oh, you don't mean literally shittiest. To my cat vomiting on my bed. My cat was sick and had diarrhea. Apparently he felt comfortable shitting on my dad's bed. Dad didn't know. Dad laid in it. Dad was upset. A cockroach entering my mouth on my first day of camp. A midnight snack. My clumsy fiancé was leaving for a work trip at 4 a.m. Obviously, I was still asleep as he was leaving. He walked over to my side of the bed to give me a kiss goodbye. Assuming I wouldn't even wake up. Except. He forgot that he was holding a large cup of ice-cold water. As he bent over to give me a kiss on the cheek, the water spilled all over me waking me up instantly from a deep midwinter sleep. Damn at least it wasn't a hot coffee. Hit in the head with a toy truck by my friend's toddler son. Toddlers have a thing about bashing adults in the forehead with hard objects. Wait, the worst was a phone call telling me my mom had passed away. And the doctor was so rude. She had been in a nursing home for just a few days and the doctor couldn't get a hold of my stepdad. So he called me. He said she had been brought in in cardiac arrest. I asked if she was okay, and he said, no, she's dead. 
That was my worst wake up ever. I had spent the entire day and evening at the hospital, sitting at my mother's bedside in ICU. She was very ill and in a coma, but the docs were all quite optimistic. My stepfather and I bundled into my car and we went to his apartment to get some sleep. A half hour later the phone rings, blowing me out of an exhausted slumber. It was the hospital. We need you to come to the hospital right away. She had suffered a heart attack. They got it going again quickly, but 10 minutes later it stopped beating and commenced quivering instead. It took the ICU staff about 15 minutes to get it restarted, but she was on heroic amounts of life support. We got there, were taken into a meeting room, the doctor explained what had occurred and that it was going to preclude her from getting the liver transplant she needed, never mind the likely brain damage she would have suffered. And we signed the withdrawal of life support approval. She lasted about five minutes after that. Worst wake up call ever. My dad would keep a bag of marbles in the freezer. If you didn't wake up the first time, he dumped them into your bed. How it feels to chew five gum. When my husband and I first started seeing each other he had an alarm on his phone that was a Dalek very loudly saying, exterminate. I'm a pretty big fan of Doctor Who, but that scared the absolute shit out of me. Worst fucking alarm ever. I had a really terrible alarm in high school, like legit panic attack every morning. My mom thought it was ridiculous I didn't want to use it, but my dad just woke me up every day. After I moved out to college my mom slept in my room one night when my dad was snoring really bad. The alarm scared the crap out of her and I think she hurt herself waking up. She gets it now why I hated using an alarm clock. I use my phone these days to play gentle classical music and I still wake up with a racing heart. My first night at an adolescent behavioral unit after attempting suicide I had to sleep on a mattress in the common room because my roommate, who I hadn't met yet, was having some sort of episode. I woke up to her slamming her fists into my side and then running away, with several nurses chasing her. A broken foot. That I'd broken while napping. Extreme napping. By a boner. I was so exhausted from uni that I fell asleep on the train. Beside me was a stranger and he let me sleep on his lap. I don't know what happened and why he let me but I suppose I fell asleep on his shoulder then to his lap. I woke up feeling something pressing against my cheek. I was drooling too and very much embarrassed. I get being embarrassed that you fell asleep on a stranger. But they oddly let you keep sleeping and they liked it so much they developed a boner. I would say that part should be embarrassing for them. Smoke alarm going off at 3 am because the TV was on fire downstairs. Coffee pot smashed over my head. My friend was out with a bunch of chicks in a hot tub cheating on his chick and his chick came over had drinks with my chick and she convinced my chick I was at the hot tub cheating as well. After coming to I said how the fuck can I be there cheating if you just woke me up? W. T. F. To a cat with claws using my face as a fucking launch pad. P. A. R. K. O. U. R. Last Sunday I got woken up at 6 AM by a bat that started flying and screeching inside the Toller shutter box in my bedroom. It made mess and I was so confused, it took me a while to realize what was going on. If there was any chance that the bat was loose in your bedroom, you should get a rabies shot ASAP. Bats are a common carrier and the symptoms of rabies typically don't show up until it's too late for treatment. Yellow jacket stinging my ear. Hurt so bad. Swelled up to the size of a hockey puck. One of those got into my bed and I rolled over onto it at about 3 AM. It got me right in the kneecap. It was a great way to discover I was allergic. The phone woke me up a little after midnight. I was informed that my mother had died. It was not totally unexpected. Her health had been declining. I still dread hearing the phone ring late at night. Probably the time I woke up to hear my dad screaming for my mom because he cut the tips of his fingers off in the snowblower. It got clogged and he tried to unclog it with his hands? My dog having some sort of episode and falling off the bed straight into the dresser at 3 AM. When he got to his feet, he staggered a bit and then pissed all over the floor. We tried to get him outside but he puked before we could. He wasn't right for three days, but he pulled through. He's my best friend and I was terrified. The space shuttle Columbia exploding over East Texas, my entire house shook and things fell off my dresser and just a horrible loud noise. This was in 2003 so I thought we were being attacked, young teenage mind jumping to wild conclusions. 
Then my thoughts raced towards the factory my dad working at had exploded. All our neighbors were outside freaking out. My mom and I sat in front of the TV waiting for news of any kind. So sad once we found out what happened. People I knew found shuttle parts in their yards and on their land. My cats ran across my face with all their claws out. I looked like I'd fallen into a bale of barbed wire. To make matters worse, one of them ricocheted off the bathroom wall and knocked three potted plants into the toilet. It was not a good morning. GF shitting on me. Excuse me what the fuck. My cat dumping a pint glass full of water on my head. Like 17 to 18 or so was knocked out before class started. Asleep on my stomach, I felt something on my back. Didn't pay too much attention was like 90% asleep still. Trying to fall back asleep, I felt something lightly drag across my back. So I peek over my shoulder to look. And this spider like peeks back over my shoulder and looks at me like I did something wrong. I slap it off me, it hits the bed, and hundreds of baby spiders splatter everywhere and just start running crazily. I legit undid my bed sheets, rolled everything up and threw away everything. Mom wasn't happy I threw all my stuff away, but I wasn't taking any chances. But you didn't burn it, and therefore, they were still alive. They remember, they will tell their children for generations what you've done, and one day one of their descendants will exact their revenge on you. By my alarm clock. Some mad old cunt I used to live with. Smashing on my bedroom door at 3 AM, said he was having a heart attack. I got him downstairs and called an ambulance, the ambulance crew got there and checked him, said he was alright. He later told me that I needed to keep my phone on loud in case he had a real heart attack. What a fucking cockwomble. Cockwomble, as an American this is a great sounding saying. Care to elaborate on its usage and what nation came up with this? A black bear was outside my tent. One of the dudes I was hiking with starting shouting, hey hey hey. I had no idea what was going on until after. I hanged my food bag but I had some stuff I couldn't clean yet with food scents in my pack. They usually run off but if they get too familiar they get dangerous real quick. My cats were chasing each other and one ran across my face while I was sleeping. The scratches were pretty bad all across one side of my face. It was the day before my senior prom too, so I ended up having a scratched up face for that. I still have a scar right by my eye. My aunt was screaming at me and hitting me because I didn't do something she wanted me to do. It was terrifying to wake up being hit and yelled at I wasn't even confused I was just so scared. Police department knocking on my door at 2 AM saying the meth lab across the street might blow up so we need to get out ASAP. Why would my, I mean the neighbor's meth lab blow up? Successive explosions followed by automatic weapons fire. I had been averaging around 2 hours sleep a night for about 2 weeks at that point and had just come off watch and fallen asleep, I did not get back to sleep that night. Cops called me at 2 AM and asked me to come out to the parking lot and gave me no other information over the phone. Turned out someone had horribly rear-ended my car. Don't know what was so damn urgent about it they couldn't have waited until morning. Cops woke me up literally last week at 5 AM over this same exact issue. I was sick and finally getting a full night's rest. Someone hit the car hard enough and drove it over the curb. Wasn't even my car but they rang the bell three freaking times and kept pounding on the door until we answered it. Glass shattering in the next room and intense loud arguing between parents. Area evacuation because of a dangerous individual. Surgical drain moved. Bit of a long story. So ur balls can, for whatever reason, time, pressure, they dislike our sense of fashion, etc., have the protective sacs surrounding them, not our ball sack, the interior padding, flood with bodily fluid, a mix of blood and other humors, orangish yellow and smelly. My left one was the size of a cam of monster energy. Every time I wore tight pants, it looked like I was smacking the biggest dick around. Not quite, anywho, I had it pierced and stitched up. Scars the size of my pinky finger. So to ensure that my nuts weren't drowning, the good. Doc put a drain sticking out of the bottom of my sack. Sensitive. It was moved, rather harshly, by my darling cat curling up betwixt my legs. Obviously had a blanket between us. Don't want kitty laying anywhere that close to me. So yeah, my balls got jostled, and not in a fun way. Had to burn the mattress. TL. DR ball surgery hurts. 
glass shattering, lived in a six-story apartment building. The neighbor in the building across from us was having some kind of psychotic break and was throwing everything he could get his hands on off his balcony. He was aiming for the windows of other apartments. We were far enough away to not get hit, but watching that go down was not super fun. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.